So today I'll be unboxing a Core i7. This is an LGA 1366 Core i7, so it's the old Core i7 with three channels for memory and with hyper-threading, okay? So it is an i7-975. This is an Extreme Edition processor. I'm just gonna have a look. Okay, so you got hyper-threading, turbo boost, blah, 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 three-year warranty, all that good stuff. You got your standard fare here, so let's break the seal on this baby. Oh, first of all, you got a little window here where you can actually see the CPU. Um, mine seems to be dislodged a little bit in there, but we'll, we'll get it open and find out why exactly that is. So we're breaking the factory seal here. And, oh, that's a pretty good sticker. There we go. Okay, so let's open this up and find out exactly what we get with the Intel Core i7 Extreme Edition. So, first of all, we get a plastic clamshell. Oh, no, here we go. There is a manual. So here's your manual. This includes your installation instructions, your three-year limited warranty information, as well as an Intel Inside logo label on the back panel. So here's all your in installation instructions, all that good stuff, all your warranty info, and there is your Core i7 Extreme sticker that you can put on your case because, yeah, that's an expensive sticker and you're gonna wanna show it off. Next thing is the Core i7 Extreme itself. So this is a 975, so that means it is a D0 stepping processor. All of the 975s are. You can see that on the bottom of the chip itself, you've got 1,366 pads that make contact with the pins on your X58 motherboard because X58 is the only chipset that supports these Extreme Edition chips at this time. And then we also have a Core i7 Extreme 1366 CPU heatsink. So it's a little bit different from the standard one in that instead of being just an aluminum flower heatsink, it's actually an aluminum and copper one. It has a blue LED fan on the top. It's a four pin PWM fan header and then you've got two different speed settings so you can either set it to high or to low depending on how much noise and how much cooling you want to get out of it. That said, if you're buying an Extreme Edition processor you should probably be buying an aftermarket cooler so you can get the most out of it anyway because the best thing about an Extreme Edition is the unlocked multiplier which makes for better easier overclocking. Thank you for checking out my video blog unboxing the Core i7 Extreme 975.